Now today, welcome back to our new recipe. Today we're going to make the sogogi mukguk. Okay? Or beef radish soup. Alright? Now, um, this is very easy. So you don't need something very fancy or specially from Korea. If you're in different parts of the country, of the world, then you can easily do this. What are the ingredients? We have beef because sogogi is beef. Um green spring onions, radish, soy sauce, and salt. That's it. But today we're going to make it more special because I'm going to use this bone stock. So if you can find any bone stock in your country, use it. Okay. Oh yeah, and water of course. We need water because it's soup. All right. Let's begin by turning on the stove. Okay, I need oil. Three tablespoons of oil. Okay, let's um, wait for the pot to heat first. Sorry. Painitin muna natin, ah, mga friends. Para huwag tayong natatsikan. Kasi pag natatsikan tayo, patay tayo dyan. So, this is very easy. I'm sure you can do this immediately after watching. Trust me, it's so easy. No brainer. Para kang kumain sa ano, restaurant. Lalo na pag maulan, very good. Alright, it's ready. I'm gonna pour in. No, it's not ready yet. Let's wait. Bawal man tayo. I cannot cheat because you're watching. Okay, let's wait for it. Pag nawala na si Babol, ipapasok na tong oil na to. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. One. Dapat may sense of humor konti, di ba? Boring naman kung lagi na lang seryoso. Two. And three. Ayan. So, you can use any oil. I'm using canola oil because I like it. Don't use olive oil because olive oil has a um, distinct taste. It will change the taste of your recipe. Okay, next is your beef. Let's turn down the heat. Para wag beef. Okay, Pag dumikit, don't worry. It's okay. Ito lang yan. Ganun talaga. Mawawala rin naman yan. Mabilis lang yan. See? Ganun lang. Okay. One thing that is good here in Korea is that their beef does not take so much time to actually, you know, um, become tender. Unlike, for example, in Philippines, pag nagpakuluhan ng baka, it takes you an hour before this beef softens. Here in Korea, their beef is soft, so not it, take, it doesn't take that much time. Alright, next is the kanjang or the soy sauce. We're gonna use four tablespoons of soy sauce again like i said the soy sauce in korea is not very salty unlike for example in the philippines so adjust it according to your taste okay 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 so you're going to stir it for in to incorporate the taste Okay, and then, ilalagay ko na yung bone stock. I'm gonna put bone stock. If you don't have, it's okay. You can use the beef cube. Okay, and a lot of water. Should be 1.5 liter of water. 
because this is soup and you're supposed to have a lot of water plus the radish actually tries to you know sip all the water so let it boil for a while and put in the radish and onion you're not going to put the salt unless it's already boiling and ready to eat according to my teacher okay okay another thing that you need to add if you want it to taste refreshing is a little bit of um, ginger crushed ginger okay a little bit but it's optional if you don't like the taste of ginger you don't have to but if you wanted to you know have a little kick then you should put very little ginger and then you're supposed to let it sit for 30 minutes or depending on how your the condition of your beef if it's that tender then it you don't need that much time but if it's very hard like in the Philippines the beef is very hard it takes longer time right kailangan ng depende kung gaano ka tigas ng baka na ginamit nyo but dito naman malambot lang yung baka so madali lang so i'll be back once it boils okay okay so after um, 15 minutes it's boiling like that and now it's time for us to put um, salt so one third teaspoon so this is one half so not puno wag nyong puno ina baka umuwi na sa alat may soy sauce na yun kumpi na lang and then after that syempre kailangan natin ng pepper pero kung ayaw ng pepper okay lang din walang problema Optional naman yun eh. And then, stir it. Para lang ma-incorporate yung salt and pepper with the soup. And then, turn it off. Tikiman time! Okay. So, we're gonna put it in our very famous bowl soup bowl so dadamihan ko yung radish kasi para sa kanya to <laughs> ang init man ang init so hot put it here Huwag kayong gumamit ng ano ha. Huwag nyong gamitan ng buto-buto. Kasi ibang recipe naman yung buto-buto. Ito, iba rin to. Alright friends, so it's tikiman time. This time I will be the one to make tikiman because I like it. Okay, ready? Perfect. I like it. Hindi masyadong maalat, hindi masyadong matabang. So, just perfect. Alright, see you again on our next recipe. Very easy, right? I know you can do it. I'm sure you can do it and you should do this. Alright, bye! Don't forget to subscribe!